To remove the antenna motor assembly from the NA car, that's the 90 through 97 car, it's actually in the trunk and it's next to the spare tire, between the spare tire and the quarter panel. So we open the trunk up and we got the spare tires in the way, so we're going to remove the spare tire. Actually, let's get that out of the way and then we'll be able to see it. We got a little cover here on the battery, we can pull that back. There's our battery. We can see the antenna motor right in there. And there's the motor assembly. There's the nut that actually holds it in place. So once we take off that special nut on the top, and this nut here, we have an electrical connection right here. So we just take that electrical connection apart, and the motor assembly will just come right out of the car. And then we can put on the bench and go to work. Next, let's look at the NB car and see where the antenna placement is there and how to get it out of the car. Now we've looked at the NA car and the antenna on that car is over on the right side, the passenger side of the car here in America. On the NB car, it's over here on the left side, it's in the left corner. So to get this antenna motor assembly out of the car, we've got to open up the trunk of course. And there's a little cubby here on the left. There's one screw that holds it into place. We'll take out that screw. This little cubby comes out. You can see the drain hose for the antenna mast there. And we've got a couple little clips. These little clips here, a little screwdriver just pops them loose. Once, once they're loose, you can pop them right out of place. Got another one here. And here's one right here. And I think there's one right in here hidden. Yep. So we'll get those out of the way. Here it comes. Once we get all the clips out, we can take this panel actually right out of the car here. Here's a panel, we got it out of the car. Now we'll take a look at this other panel, move it out of the way. And there we go. There's our antenna motor assembly. Now, to get this motor assembly out, here's a nut that holds it in place. There's a drain hose right here. We we'll have to pull the drain hose. This nut and of course the same kind of type of nut on top. We have our electrical connection right here. A little clip on the back, push in right here, unclip it. We have on this, here's our antenna mast. There's the leader that goes to the radio, unplug that. And this whole assembly will come out of the car. Let's go to the bench now and take a look at the inside of the antenna motor assembly, how to clean it up and get it ready for a new mast. We're at the bench here and we've got both types of antenna mo motor mast assemblies together here. The NA type. And it's a, a little bulkier because it doesn't have the technology that they put into the newer NB antenna mast assembly. Here's the NB. It's a little more streamlined, a little more compact. Let's take a look at the NA mast, and this antenna mast has a broken leader. When they have a broken leader, you can see that there's no control. It's just in and out, because the mast, that leader assembly, is actually broken inside it. This is the new mast for the NA type. You can see how long the metal leader is. And this is the NB type. So the mast assemblies are different, the NA, and the NB is a little longer mast. So to remove the mast assembly from this, we have to actually take this relay assembly apart and open it up. There's a ground wire and a bracket here. Ground wire and bracket loose. On the bottom side, there's a bracket and a ground wire. A couple screws, a bracket, loose bracket. And now we're actually to a place where we can actually see the cover for the, the, the uh, fishing reel mechanism inside that draws the, 
the leader back in and draws it around. So to remove the cover here, this is a seven millimeter nut. And we'll take this cover off. Here we are. So here's the fishing reel part of it. This is the reel. There's a washer here. Let's remove that washer that was stuck to the cover. And here's the reel itself. We'll pull this out. And we can see the broken piece, the leader, is right in the reel here. So we just got to dig that out. Let's fish that out of here. There it is. There's our broken piece. So the broken piece, the reel. And here's the gear assembly. This is how it works. But we're not finished yet. There still may be broken pieces inside. So what we need to do is lift this plastic cover right here. And there's another piece. There's the piece. So if you don't go deep enough and clear out this second broken piece, you'll never be able to get a new one in because this one's stuck right at the base. So don't get fooled by not cleaning completely the antenna motor assembly out. So now to get this broken piece out, there's a little wheel here. And it's, we'll pull, pull that wheel out and we'll get that last broken piece out. There we go. Now once we have that done, right, we can, we know that this motor assembly will just come apart. And there's our antenna mast with the leader, you know, the leader not attached. Now we want to make sure that when we do this that we can look down through here and see light. That there's not anything broken, a piece stuck still in the mast hole. To reassemble it, we're just going to put it right back together. We've got our plastic cover. Here's the fishing reel. Remember it comes down, comes through that little wheel up and then feeds into here. We'll put that back on. We have our washer, washer back into place, and then our cover. Make sure that O-ring's in good shape there. And then our nut back on the antenna mast. Yes, just, once it's secure, oh, just finger tight, just a little tight. And once you put the brackets and everything back together, then this is ready to go back in the car without the assembly on the top. You have to actually put it into the car and then feed it in like we did in the first part of the video. Here's the NB motor assembly. Now we're gonna clean, do the same clean out here, but it's not as difficult. We got one screw in the middle here. We got four screws on the sides. And what we do, once we take off this cover, we'll be able to see that fishing reel that actually draws the antenna mass down and makes that antenna go up and down. So once we get all the screws out, once we get all the screws out, then we can take this cover off. We see we got a little bit of rubber in here. See the rubber seal? Not in very good shape, just taking it apart kind of destroyed it. And here's our fishing reel. Again, just take this part off. You can see that this screw here, the center screw, actually held everything together. And here's the fishing reel part again. Now this is a good antenna mass, so you actually can see that it's wound up in there and then driven through under that white cover back up here. You can see all the electronics are in this motor assembly. So that's why it's a little bit more compact. I hope this helps everybody figure out how to replace their antenna mast assembly on the Mazda Miata, the NA and the NB, and that would be the 1990 through the 2005 Mazda Miatas. Remember to go to eBay, Miata Mecca, you'll find your part source there. We'll ship out to you right away. Hey, thank you very much for watching this video and I hope it helps out everybody.